Guys, before we get to the review of Japan, first, a message from Surfshark. You got Cyber Monday, which is going to give you an additional six months for free. Yeah, that's right. You can use a VPN this holiday season to save some money as well. And take advantage of uh, the VPN hiding where you're from. And it gets around price discrimina uh, discrimination. Hotel rooms, plane tickets, all sorts of things do Gotta it. protect yourself. And also, remember, you get one and done. Unlimited devices you can share with your friends and family. Share with friends and family, guys. Surfshark is the one. Check it out at surfshark.deals forward slash Angry Joe Show. Enjoy the movie review. Hey, guys. Welcome to our movie review for Silent Night. Uh, we saw the trailer, and I was like, hey. This trailer looks good. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I was like, oh, shit, cars exploding. Wait, what? John Woo? Fuck yeah. I like this sort of, you know, anti-holiday stuff, revenge story. Let's just go watch a gun battle, man. Mm -hmm. I fucking love John Woo. Some of my favorite films. So my expectations were uh, of that. And unfortunately, um... I am disappointed uh, by John Woo, uh, much as we were disappointed with Napoleon, uh, Ridley <laughs> Scott's Napoleon. Uh, we are. I am disappointed by John Woo. Has John Woo lost his touch? Yes. What, what the hell his did I just watch? Was face Off. That was, yeah, Face, face Off. <laughs> Mission Impossible amazing. 2. In face fact, off. <laughs> watch The Killers. Watch uh, Hard Boiled. Watch Face Off twice <laughs> before even watching Silent Night. And it's... It pains me to say that because, like, I, I just wanted to go and have a good time. And yeah. what I saw was stupid. It was stupid. <sighs> it was so stupid. And um, it's an action film that is a very – there's not a lot of spoken dialogue. I thought, okay, this could be interesting. Yes. Um, you know, he loses his voice uses one of these gadgets for half a second, throws it across the room. And uh, <clears throat> I was, I, you know, I was actually in it for the first, you know, bit when in the trailer you see his son gets killed and he goes on revenge. Yes. When his son gets killed, I'm like, okay, good, good, good acting here, Joel Kinnaman. I, I feel your pain. Uh, okay, I'm on board. Let's see where this goes. But they keep doing melodramatic uh Hallmark Channel scenes so one, cliche one right after another so after another of him remembering the time that he spent with his son he'll go from a very drab gray looking thing and then the scene will fade into a bunch of color and smiles and and it's so <laughs> cheesy it's so <laughs> tropey the first time was effective. I was like, oh, so that's what happened, you know, because the film just goes, boom, we're in the action. I'm like, yes, yes. I like this. Here we go. You know, there's a gang war going on or, you know. Goddamn they're, Mexicans. They're Mexicans <laughs> shooting each other and fucking drive-by shooting. Uh, but it, I did start, even in, even in the very early, I started to notice them. So I was like, why are they missing? <laughs> you know, this is ridiculous with the, you know. And that amps up quite a bit. <laughs> so, uh, because I can't put together too much of a sentence and go through the rest <laughs> without coughing, go and let's hear from y'all, and then I'll uh, proceed to rip the movie apart. Cheese and rice. That was a colossal fucking waste of time. <laughs> I was bored. That's like the, the first that is the biggest the, sin of an action movie yes, like this, like if you were bored. It's a rated R. I'm up, I'm there for the gore and badass guns mm -hmm. play and stuff like mm -hmm. that. There was none of that. It's just like, pow, your dad moving on. Th they could have done something cool going How up the ladder. How did they suck all the, the stairs. fun? Yes, out there was of, nothing memorable yeah. from this. They there is had, like, one. Now, cool. to be fair, Joe, Joe, exaggerating a little. There's one long sequence at the end, but again, not satisfying. No, it's not because, like, again, like I was saying, like. He was going upstairs like, okay, they're going to do some cool John Wick kind of moves or something like yeah, that. No. Nothing. Mm -mm. It, it is was sloppy. It was fucking boring. It's sloppy, poorly. It, like, you think, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know the scene from The Raid when it goes up? I was like, thinking that exact same thing. This, I was like, this, this like, could have been done better. This it, as if uh, The Raid's director's brother's cousin's twice removed <laughs> uh, <laughs> lawyer who did catering for the film. 
It was his so, assistant. Yeah, it was, was terrible. In There's nothing cool about this movie. Oh man, like the it's beginning. A shame. I again the in the beginning, I was done. like, "All right, this is gonna be cool action right off the bat." But after that, it just really dipped hard. Yeah, I was getting tired. Like he did like months of monologue or a montage. Montage. It's fucking yeah. boring. Eight months. So then, I thought, <laughs> I thought it might be cool to see. Okay, this isn't John Wick. The guy's not an expert. It's not history of violence. He's not an expert in this. So it might be interesting to see this perspective. Somebody build themselves up into a machine, but it, this, it unfortunately, it, the pacing on it was very, very poor. This motherfucker went on YouTube Dude, to practice you, moves. Yeah. <laughs> Bull, what do they call it? Bullshito? <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, Bullshito. you got to do these things? It's like, he rarely did that. Yeah. yeah I mean, he was he, looking up... Uh, um, <laughs> Steven Seagal, like today, <laughs> yes. things where he's like, so what you got to grab guy, him. Yeah. Make I sure wanna... they grab your arm at a certain, uh, <laughs> certain angle because of this. If he doesn't do that. I want to point out how uh, John decided uh, he's going to do some experimenting here. And he'll, he, uh, right away, he does this weird thing where he zooms in on the mother's eyes when she's in distress over her son getting uh, shot, uh, running to the hospital. And it freeze frames. And they don't do that once. They do it twice. I think it's like maybe three full times throughout the whole film. But it was very awkward, very out of place. And these di these directorial choices like zooming in, it's just mm -hmm. like, John, that's not working. Yeah, he that's needs, he needs to quit. Not. He needs to find a new job. And if I hear that musical box one more fucking time, I'm going to punch somebody in the throat. That was fucking stupid. John, I don't know. <laughs> the motherfucker just watched The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. He watched uh, some better fucking films that has like a little music box scene that the hero or the anti-villain will occasionally open to remind himself. But every single time Joel Kinnaman did it here, or Brian, I wanted to rip my hair out because it was so stupid. Yes. Fucking hated it. The acting, there was no acting. Oh, like, yeah, I was like, okay, no let me feel your pain or something. Like... I guess in the beginning, but after that, it's yes, like, you the didn't beginning care. He, he did. After he did that, you're job. just like whatever. You but, didn't care about yeah. the good guys. You don't care about like, oh, these are just the bad generic bad guys. I don't fucking care. They're just numbers. Exactly. Here, here, here is. I can't believe I need to tell the master of cinema, at least back in know. the '90s, that the satisfyingness of ki of revenge killing is when somebody does something <laughs> so fucked up. And they're personally responsible for yeah. it, and you get them back. Everybody that Joel kills in this film has nothing to do with this child's death, basically. And it's just not satisfying to watch these guys go down. I mean, I thought I was watching a fucking... Like, this... It goes off the rails into a fantasy world where people are acting and doing things... That make no fucking sense. The boss is essentially dancing like a Disney movie Doing with his, drugs. Like, oh, with this his guy's real bad. at the top right. level of the fucking boss tower that you need to defeat the enemies. But it's so fucking lame. I goddamn hate films when when oh there's the girlfriend and then the girlfriend picks up the gun and all of a sudden she could you know shoot get direct shots on everybody because why? Because she the sub boss girlfriend just shut up. I fucking hated it, and it pissed me off. The one that pissed me off is, well, along other scenes, he's <laughs> he he goes upstairs. He sees that one gangster come out of the doorway, shoots him with a shotgun. Another guy comes out in the doorway. He shoots. shoots he's just there with the shotgun. One corpse. Two and there's another three, corpse. Four, uh, another corpse. five. And then another. These guys corpse. are just no. running like, what the fuck Where are you is doing? The skill? <laughs> <laughs> They're That's running. Not... I was like, oh, dead. <laughs> running out, dead. I was like. This is fucking stupid. It, did you catch any of what they were saying, Joe? I was trying to listen to their Spanish to see if I could catch what they were saying. I, there were some curse words. But yeah, it, it, it made no stupid. fucking sense. It's like, oh, oh, okay, Carlos, you go next. Like, what, what are <laughs> what they doing, doing over there? <laughs> oh, like, my God. This was so stupid. This was a mess on pretty much every aspect yes. of filming. And not only was that suspension of disbelief thrown completely out of the window. I mean, Joe, a guy takes... I'm not 17 gunshots. It's he I'm pretty sure it's 17 and keeps going. His Mustang 5.0 probably takes 276 bullets at various spots. 17 car wrecks. His he gets smashed from the front, smashed from the back, and then the very next scene his car is clean. 
It's like these things are amateur level mistakes, and I and maybe you can forgive it in uh, a crazy uh, world like John Wick, where everybody's a professional assassin and yeah. it's like a fantasy world. But the film here takes itself so seriously, and then when you juxtapose it against the stupidest gun battles and gunplay and and you know it, it just it's sloppy and it's bad another thing that kind of pisses me off too is like he was training with the knife doing all this stuff and he's yeah. training with the car he didn't even fucking use yeah he did joe barely what yeah. one scene no he used the knife one. several scenes and he used the car to escape and get around to go forward i disagree there, with you narrow. on that there was narrow there's no tight corners he's doing anything yeah, he cool. did when he was running away from the initial uh black suv right alex jump in here what yeah. did you think of the film no, alex no. let's 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 hear from alex it's it's not a it's not a good movie and it, the the biggest sin is that one john woo i don't think can direct anymore if if you needed any any evidence this is it like this this is not someone who knows how to so, make a movie. So like you, I you're, thought you're maybe done. You ha the written by Robert Archer Lynn. Can we give a little bit of responsibility no. to him? So, I think so the thing is, I was thinking like I had a lot of time to think about this movie while <laughs> I was watching this movie because nothing happened. Yes. Um, and yes. so until, until the end. Yeah, it's like actually I think that the base story kind of works here. It's a revenge. Yeah, it's it's like he's the Punisher, right? He's trying to avenge sure. his family. Things are kind of falling apart. He's going to do this thing. He's not, then, and then in the movie that he's not very good at it in the beginning. Like he just the accountant kicks his ass, which was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. And then the, like he gets better and better as time goes on. So it's like okay, I, mean, I get that, that's a pretty badass accountant. He he did do yeah yeah, but he's been, he's been training for eight straight months, yeah. and like th that guy's been drinking a couple beers. Uh, and so it's like <laughs> on paper, I think that the story's probably fine. The problem is I don't know who. I imagine it's John Woo. He did. He, it's the ultimate action sin where he's trying to elevate a trope and he takes it too far away from what I actually want. We were streaming right before we watched this movie, we're having a great time, we're having a couple drinks. And it's like, you know what? I'm in a, the mood to watch a yeah. dumb, <clears throat> violent, anti holiday film. I'm ready. Like, this sounds great. Like, I, I want to support rated R movies that were like really go into action. The first half of this movie is this guy being the biggest piece of shit. Of, like, not only did he lose his son, his wife lost a son. And yeah. he's just like. They don't talk to each other. Well, there's no dialogue in the whole movie, but it's. It's 30 straight minutes of him just being a piece of shit husband to the point where... Uh, you, I don't want him to succeed. It's like, yeah, you don't like this guy. But the problem with that is th that started off pretty good. Even the first 15 minutes of him kind of figuring out yeah. what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And then we needed to get right in. Yes. That extra 20 minutes of yes. marinating on what a piece of shit this guy is knocks you completely out of this movie. Thank you. And it's extra stinky because it's like, I know that someone is in the writing room and they're sniffing <clears throat> their own farts and they're just going, you know what we can do? We can take nobody. We can take John Wick and I can elevate it. No. And I can make it, and it's like, no, you can't, John Woo, <laughs> no, because you can't direct anymore. Can't you get don't get emotion have it. out of your uh, audience. Um, it's not happening. So, you don't have that skill, and everything that happened terrible lacked gun impact. Play, yeah, terrible everything. And so the problem that we get into is the the kills uh, don't. There's so many of them, but every single kill in John Wick feels more impactful. Yeah. So the the choreography isn't very good. And, and I don't mean that he's supposed to be clumsy, but it just doesn't feel good as the audience sitting there. There's no satisfying, you know, mini boss that he Correct. kills. Like, you're just frustrated every single time someone in, that you know dies. Yes. And then anytime the minions die, you just, you feel nothing. Yeah. So, I liked it, it, 15 minutes of this movie, and then I hated 20 minutes yeah. of the movie, and then I felt nothing about the entire rest. The, the huge action scene. <laughs> And yeah, I love you know, dumb actions, yeah, and it's yeah. just, there's not. He good. fights too many bosses in the final uh, action scene. Uh, Ruiz, kill him, Ruiz! And like there, there, goddamn, there are just so many stupid parts. I, I, yes, it would take a long time for me to cover them all. Um, and maybe we'll do a little bit of that in in the spoilers discussion, though we don't really care anymore. Um, there's just a little. There's one too many melodramatic scenes of him losing his son. You lose a little bit of pacing and traction. We needed to get into the fighting. There needed to maybe be another side, uh, maybe from the <coughs> drug dealer's side, where we're seeing this guy actually be a menace. Um, but it's really, it kind of gets wrapped up in, in one day. But he's a good guy. He gives yeah. money to the kids. Um, he buys them ice cream. So. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you start to roll your eyes, and yeah. um, it becomes disconnected from uh, 
any sort of emotions, you know, uh, like I said, there's no payoff. The payoff is it was, weak. There's no satisfaction at the end. And it's so cheesy. Uh, well, I'll, I'll save that for, for the end. They do something at the end that's so cheesy. They have a subplot <coughs> with a cop. You see what's going to happen a mile away. This is Kid Cudi, um, and he plays a cop who I understand that there's no dialogue for, uh, for, for Joel's character, and maybe his wife consoles him a little bit, but... This guy never says anything. He has no character. There's no characterization. It's it, it out of nowhere. He's putting his life at risk. I don't buy any of it, and it's stupid. Yep. <sighs> I mean, at one point, a and I'm not sure what John is doing. Uh, you, you know, because at one Me point <laughs> we watch a tear come from his wife's uh, face. The uh, camera tracks the tear, mm -hmm. and it turns into a bullet. And it's stupider than it sounds. The doves. And it's done the very doves. poorly. <laughs> no, uh, this is how you know he's lost his touch. A bird flew by uh, Joel Kinnaman's window, and I'm like, oh, shit, we're about to see a dove here. Mm -hmm. And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest little special needs parrot I've ever seen. So the dumb special needs parrot uh, gives Joel the energy, the dumb energy that he needs to do all the dumb actions in the film. Because he wakes up and, and then, yeah, goes about the movie. Um, yeah. Terrible. Trailer. Terrible film. Uh, not, sa not as satisfying as we were <laughs> hoping. Uh, he starts essentially a, a gang war. Uh, and uh, that should be cool. And it's just awful. It, it turns in like a fantasy Judge Dredd universe where, like, the entire city is shooting at each other in concrete blocks. And, you know, there are police over the radio fall back using military tactics. Like, and it's like, stupid. this is the stupidest <laughs> shit ever. It's like, who comes up with this? It's, so it's, stupid it's about like a teenager <laughs> I, it did this. And then we're, we actually get to see this gang war. And there's just so much chaos going on and bullets flying everywhere. And his car is just parked, like, in the middle of the gang war while he's just wild. This is, it's so stupid. It's and then badass. there's one female <laughs> cop who is scared because there's just bullets flying. And then there's a 20-minute sequence where he's just doing donuts around her in order to shield her, I he's guess, like with his car. Off, going he was shooting, yeah, I was shooting people from his car as if he's John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> but he wasn't cool. And the whole fucking Mustang's taking 287 shots. And, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Man, I wanted desperately to ask the, those people behind us, was that a good film? Did you guys enjoy that? <laughs> Maybe if you haven't seen Hardboiled, if you haven't seen Face Off, if you haven't seen... Any uh, action John movie? Wick, action you could, movie any John action Wick. movie. If you haven't seen any action movie, and this is the first time you've ever been exposed to anything like that, I think the most you could muster up at that <laughs> point is... <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> yeah, but no. But, but as critics here, yeah. we are like, this ain't it, John. The saying it. In fact, um, it's it's so fucking stupid. That I'm wondering if it needs to be seen because this no, is how you don't no, do it. It's not you good. do not do it like this. It is not good. <laughs> dumb fun. Not no. even. It's um yeah. It's like a high again, school like, project. Everything is like it's like a f failing film student. Uh, you know, it, yeah. it gets a high budget to do anything. Yeah, and, and, any and cool the moments. the worst part is it's devoid of anything original. You would think. That there'd be like one original thing. There's not a single original thing. Give me one fucking original thing that happens. Except for the fucking tear that turns into a bullet, which is it, it, it's even stupider than it sounds. Because it's not CGI. It just transitions to a different scene where a bullet When falls. was this last time you saw someone build a train go around a headstone? I, yeah, that's, that was, I, I was like, I like that. Yeah, good. Cool. That was his dead son, he brings him his Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. And it's a train that's operating around it. That's it. Yeah, a far cry from uh, his previous films. Yes. And well, I mean, like this, I said, this is from. The so let's go. Yeah, this is from the group of people that gave us John Wick. Like, so like it's they're involved with this stuff. What? <coughs> yeah. yeah. None of the people that worked on John Wick worked on this. Let's get a final verdict. Are you sure? I thought this Ooh. was I thought this was like written or no. produced by the same group of people. This is on the long list of No, okay. 
Um, I, I guess I'll, I'll start. I think this is a offensively bad. This is I'm the target audience. I would mm. be ashamed if that's true. Um, this is something that I wanted to watch. Uh, I was glad when he's like, hey, do you want to watch this movie? It's like, yes, I do. I want to watch a dumb, violent movie. This is insanely bad. I don't think any of the action is satisfying. I think that the story is is subpar. I don't think John Woo knows how to direct movies. Any, I don't know where he's been. I don't know what he's been doing, but he hasn't been getting better with age. Yeah. Yeah, like his, his style. He would, yeah, it's like learn. it's aging like milk, and I don't know if... I, I don't think this would have been fine in the late 90s, early 2000s. A lot of it feels like it comes from 20 years ago, but 20 years ago, Hallmark Channel TV. Yeah, it's like people m- trying to make fun of Not John Woo. Not 20 years ago, hard-boiled. Yeah, it's 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 offensively bad stuff, and so it is not just below average. I don't mm. even think that this is just bad. Like this was this is something that I really don't want you to go see, and it's a shame because I want R-rated movies to come back. I want to support people. Good you know, it's sorry. like stuff that outside of like the Disney Channel where everything's PG or PG thirteen. I wanted this to be good, and it let me down. So I'm gonna give it a two. Two. Woo! Damn. I thought I was going to be harsh because I was going to give it a three. It's a fucking three for me. There's nothing memorable about this. Everything sucked. Everything was stupid. Joe, this is not a holiday classic. It's a Christmas movie. It's hard. It's the next Die Hard, If I see this movie, yeah, I'm going to be like, (laughs) I need to avoid this one. (laughs) This is bad, man. It wasted our time. It wasted our money. I didn't care about any of the fucking characters. It was so fucking cheesy. It was stupid. I Half the time, I'm like, Looking at the screen like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? How did that just this happen? So That's stupid. so fucking stupid. <laughs> yes. I wanted to look John at Wick. Joe Producer like, John Wick. Yeah. What, really what was the name? Oh, I don't know. That's what Produced the... by one, two, three, four, five different producers. The, 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 the advertisement is from legendary director John Woo and the producer of John Wick come this gritty revenge tale. From I mean, Wish. Yeah. I fucking believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't, I don't want to know the fucking name because it's Basil Iwanick. Eric Lee, John Woo, Christian Mercury, and Lori Tilkin DeFelci. Those are the producers. And just giving money to the project does not fuck. That fucking advertisement does a disservice to John Wick. Yeah, so it was terrible. Uh, I didn't like uh, the Kid Cudi thing. I thought they were going to partner up in the end, do something cool. They walk in, they're like, that's stupid. Uh, uh, I shot. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, this is stupid. This is stupid. It's a parody. Ba- it's basically, a fucking y- parody. That's the word for today. Stupid. Stupid. Yeah. I so can't. I can't. We said that like a hundred times today. This movie is stupid. Mm. Don't watch it. Yeah. And it sucks three. because like I, I was excited to go see it. I was yeah, excited to I was go like, see it. Jay, right. Jay was like, what are you going to see? I was like, I'll see. He's like, yeah, that sounds kind of cool. It looked you know? cool from the trailer. But no, like, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's it's stupid. It's a waste of money. And I, it just blows me away. It's like, you know, that... <laughs> Peter DeBruge of Variety wrote, Silly as it may be, Silent Night gives audiences a reason to get excited about Hong Kong Innovator once again. No. What, what the fuck was the innovation? Ranking There's is one of the few new. bloody Christmas counter programmers since Die Hard that feels worthy of repeat viewing down the road. The Violent Are you Night fucking is insane? better than that one. Maybe they're really excited right. by, by the fact that there's no dialogue. I mean, like, that's the thing, right? Like, the shtick of this whole thing is we made a movie in with no dialogue, and it's going to blow the your mind. Like, it's okay. Yeah, but but that's in some text. And the so producer still... is the main guy, the main John Wick guy that did all of the other movies. He's the head producer on this, according to Wikipedia. He was off. Which, what was his time. name? <laughs> Basel something. It's like his his produced movies. Basel, okay. Yeah, Basel, it's John uh, Wick, okay, Sicario. Gonna, like, like it's crazy, up. the stuff that, that he's done. That's Sicario. wild. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think maybe... You know, the critics are like, okay, well, it's that guy. I'm just going to give him the benefit of no. doubt. I'm going to write these beautiful letters and words. It's like, okay, that's like, cool, but did you watch the movie? He noted <laughs> the film's highlight was not one uh, not one of many lavishly staged gun battles, but an intensely brutal, lengthy hand-to-hand combat between Brian and one of Playa's minions that makes the classic fight scene in Hitchcock's torn curtain seem like a schoolyard tussle. It's... What is this guy? How old is this guy? Hitchcock's torn curtain is a schoolyard tussle in comparison. Yeah, that film was made. I don't know how many fucking years ago. Of course. Yeah. What? This is so stupid. Maybe that person had never seen John Wick or uh, yeah, uh, nobody. The, the last, the last you... action film he saw was Torn Curtain. 
Yeah. Uh, that, by the way, that uh, film came out in 1966. Mm, yeah. Uh, nobody is how you do this movie, right? If you want to make John Wick but not John Wick, I thought you, it was you I, do nobody. nobody. Yeah. Watch nobody. Do not watch yeah. this. Yeah. That's, yeah. And honestly, you can put a Christmas tree next to the TV and you'll get the same amount of Christmas counter programming because it's there's not in here. It's, it's not Christmas. There's one. He he goes home. And by then it's January 24th or whatever by the time he gets home from the hospital. And it's sad. That's like, you know, the start of the film got me like, all right, let's do this. And then it quickly fell apart. Um, yeah, no. You might uh, as well sign so, up for so like what it is, classes. So <laughs> go throughout the whole month. This Basil yeah. guy, he's most known for Sicario, The Town <coughs> in Greenland, and the, the John Wick franchise. So he created a studio called Thunder Road Films, and he found his own company, Thunder Road, and his company is handling this. But I doubt that Basil is hands-on with this one. I'm, I'm sure this was left but to everybody else in that company. But if that's your company, wouldn't you kind of be like, hey, I want this to be at least good? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe they have already... They, maybe this is like, hey, we'll put it in the theaters for a little while, and then I've got these three okay. streaming services going to so, give us a bunch of uh, money. Two... Three. I'm going to go ahead and give it a final verdict of three out of ten. It's a damn shame. I caught a wind of, uh, you know, in, on Twitter. I saw IGN rated it a four out of ten. That's a two. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to love this film because IGN is often wrong with their reviews. Unfortunately, you know, it's a, I, a IGN four, it's a IGN two. You know, so it was, uh, it, it, they, they got it right, at least. I mean, that's the harshest they can be to films. So uh, a little bit of a, uh, a sad result. Don't waste your money uh, this holiday season seeing Silent Night. Uh, I would much rather you go out and see Godzilla Minus One, which is our next movie review. Um, or I don't know, I hear, what, what other holiday film? Napoleon was disappointing. I, think, I hear Thanksgiving's all right. Wish is and, a yeah. fucking disaster for Or Disney. you can watch Thanksgiving. Oh, that's a B movie. <laughs> all right. Anyways, uh, so we'll do a, a little quick spoiler section, <coughs> even though this film doesn't deserve it. So no. we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section. Uh, I just wanted to cover the spoilers because it's so fucking <laughs> stupid. Um, so, oh, his son dies, mm -hmm. goes to the hospital after. I don't really understand why he's running in the beginning. Can one of you is he is he really chasing down the red yes. balloon? No, no, Give he's chasing the car right. somehow. So this guy again, we've mentioned before, not a badass. He's not John Wick. The guy works for the electric company, mm -hmm. and his uh, and that's only important because you wouldn't assume that this guy would know what he you know he can beat up a bunch of gangsters with guns. He chases them down in, in on foot when they're in their car, and he finds a metal rod. And then he says this car is driving at him real fast, and he's I'm going. I'm gonna hit that car with a metal rod, and it's not gonna go real well for his shoulder joint, but it happens anyway, and he hits it, and then nothing happens because <laughs> he's a dude who hit a, a moving car, and then they just shoot him in the throat. Um, but his plan was with no weapons and no training, he was going to fist blind fight these body. guys. He's blind to, but when rage. they have guns, so they never show that connection between uh, you know he's just running. You know, at the beginning of the film, slow mo running, and they never did that connection because it was so fucking stupid. It, yeah, it was ridiculously stupid. Um, and the way it's framed, it, may, it makes it look like he's running after the red balloon so he can get it back mm -hmm. and remember his son. But it's not. That's not what happened. So uh, then he goes to the hospital, gets shot in the throat, somehow survives. Uh, the wife runs to uh, the hospital, wakes up in the hospital, and does the cool scene that we saw from the trailer. <gasps> You know, it's like he can't talk, and he throws away his fucking voice um, assistant. And uh, in this moment, I'm on board. I'm okay? same, same, very much. He so. goes home. Mm -hmm. In this moment, I'm on board because the fucking 
like your son fucking dies. His room is exactly the way he left it. Toys are everywhere. It's Christmas. And that was fucking heartbreaking when I saw those presents under the tree. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't even have a son. And I felt like I'm a fucking kill for, for my son. You know what I mean? And so we're on board. And uh, so let's go. He goes to the police. Okay. And he takes a picture. You know, the, the guy's taking too long to show up. So he takes pictures of all the gang members. And then he decides to leave, and Kid Cudi sees him leaving. But it's 20 minutes yeah. of wallowing in that before he goes it to the feels police. It like 40 yes. minutes. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, it did. It, he spends so long. Drinking and drinking he, and he, drinking. he develops a drinking problem. He abandons his, like, he emotionally abandons his wife, who also, at the same time, he lost a son, she yeah. lost a son. I had almost lost a husband and then actually did lose a husband. So it's like, he just, there's a really long time where he's just... In sweatpants around the house, and he's drinking too much, and he's doing weird shit, and he's not helping her do anything. Not And then for a really long time before he makes the decision, fuck it, I'm going to the police, I'm going to see what I can do. And that's when the movie starts, but the problem is that yeah. 20 minutes just, like, it sucked everything out yes. of it. It did. And even if you were to cut out that, I think you could probably only benefit one or two points on our one, scores. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to the, he's decided that he wants to beat everybody or kill everybody. And so, <laughs> so he goes on YouTube he has to a, learn he, how he, to fight. He doesn't even put it on the TV. Like, he puts his, ca- his phone, phone on a steel rack. Anybody. And by the way, this motherfucker comes from work. He gets dropped off by somebody. And the truck is all like scraped and damaged. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I like how this world is lived in and whatever. It's not a pristine little electric company truck. But how much money this man would have? What job does he have? He's like a fucking right. rich guy. For eight months, he didn't work. His son has all the best <laughs> toys. He has like the best fucking garage with all the shit in it. And yeah, and then he goes and buys like everything. And it's, he doesn't work for eight months. I'm like, what kind of disability he buys a car, is this cash. guy? He cash. Buys guns. He and buys apparently guns. this car was bulletproof sitting in a fucking junkyard because put, this thing. You, we, he put in, there was a scene where he's <laughs> using a, a Makita drill and he He's putting in tactical vests that are clearly filled with. So- I don't oh know. Oh my god, ta- that's right. No, he's not wrong. They're literally tactical. Like, vests. That's, that's, that's probably that's a on the better way to do that. But it's like the. But what about oh in the inside god. of the the engine? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. He, yeah. He, bought he, a he bad must car. have had wrapped the engine in bulletproof vests. Bubble wrap. That that makes sense now. So it can handle. So when it gets crushed, and you see it getting crushed in the front and back as two gangster cars. Uh, basically lock him in and then guys get out and machine gun at two feet from his head on multiple machine guns and pistols and he's okay the car's okay the very next scene the front end is completely repaired the rear end is completely repaired Space and it continues polymer. driving. <laughs> Drill this bullet. I, I cannot. I cannot abide by this. It's too stupid. So the thing is, what's crazy is like I, I'm actually thinking about nobody, and it's like nobody's kind of a stupid movie, but it's but, so well done yes, that I'm on board the entire time. It, yes. And the suspension of and disbelief when you're knocked is, out, and it's, it's just a huge like huge difference th- when you're knocked out. Yeah. And again, this is this is what happens when someone's like, I know you want me to make a mindless revenge film, but I'm gonna elevate it. It and, shows signs every once in a while. Of of starting to work like when he is randomly at Home Depot or something buying some plumbing material and he's already developing skills and he accidentally runs into the fucking gangsters and he <laughs> gets his knife and you feel for him you're mm-hmm. like okay let's let's do it while you laugh in jail the scene before that <laughs> okay the, he opens the door a little kid comes in oh, he's yeah. picturing his son and he's and like he's he grabs like, a child he grabs that, a child and he's like rubbing his face yeah. and then hugs excuse hugs me him. sir i'm chris you hansen see this mom like running what the fuck are you doing she doesn't kid? say any of that she's not allowed to say problem. anything i would be like there's this creepy ass guy yeah who's you call the police immediately hit him with your purse she does nothing she just simply picks him up he's like oh what a nice man. What? No. <laughs> At this point in the movie, I thought to myself, "Is like, wait a minute, I hate this movie. I want this movie to fail. But there's a 1% chance they do the funniest thing in cinema history where he's been watching dumbass videos on YouTube, how to knife fight a dummy, yes. and he gets into a fight and immediately gets shot in the face because he has no idea what he's doing. And then they didn't do that, and so the movie sucked. 
But it would have been um, 10 out of 10, right? If yes. he just walks up to the first gangster and they just <laughs> cripple his ass. Yes. Yeah. It, it so then happen. he captures the... Uh, so the first guy he goes after, I guess, is the accountant uh, who knows all the information. He tries to get him to write down all the incriminating stuff. The guy says, fuck you. And he starts beating him up. He excellent. He gets out of his bindings, and they have a fight in his house. And I'm like, all up. right, this is fine. It's a fine. But he's John Woo. He has 20 fucking 30, 40 years of fucking experience. If there's not some good fights in the film, we would give it a zero. Yeah. So this this earned some of the points here, this fight that they have. And it's never shown... But it's implied that he does eventually write all the stuff that he needs to. Terrible handwriting, by the way. I couldn't see. I I I think it was in Spanish, too. I don't know what the fuck Terrible handwriting. So maybe that's why I couldn't read it. So... Go and and so he does that, and then he, as a Christmas present letter, sends it to Kid Cudi, the police officer, and he's like, "Here's everything that you need." And then circles the twenty fourth, kill them all, and so he's gonna go and kill them all. If someone ever gives you a USB drive, don't ever plug it into your computer, because this is the first thing that the guy who works for the it's Las Palomas Police Department does. There like, has to be a specific police department computer for that kind well, of. Use. Yeah, well, one of the things they're doing now is you go through the airport and someone puts it in into your luggage, and the first thing you do is you put it in your laptop and. Auto run some shit. Don't do don't, put. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, but this cop does it because this movie is stupid. Yeah. Uh, what are the day? Whoa, stupid. He's like, I'm gonna do what you should have done, and this cop does nothing. He doesn't immediately call the you know police and say, okay, well this guy is gonna go on this revenge thing that could lead to a lot of civilians getting caught in the crossfire, like he was caught. His son was caught in the crossfire. Does nothing. He literally just like. Mouth breather looks at it, and Alex is laughing. But that's what he does. And then, and then he later on in the film we see him pull up to the same place that that Joel Kinnaman is killing or Brian is killing everybody. And no uh, backup, no weapons, no, no back, body doesn't armor, do anything, no. doesn't say anything. So he makes this decision to help him off screen, and it's just so stupid. Yes. And you don't buy it. It doesn't exactly. make any sense. And so then, so he's going dumb. up the levels, shooting people in the most sloppy and dumb manner, and <laughs> uh. it might make sense, <laughs> where it's like, but he's not John Wick, and he's not trained, but it's not entertaining. It's, it's not, not. It, it, it. and then it, it, there's so many moments where these bad guys do dumb shit that it continues to take you out of it, uh, unless you're, <laughs> you're like, dumbass and you just <laughs> love the sound of loud gunshots, and you think that that's entertaining, fine. I get it. Do you? But when he gets to the top, so he murders everybody. Uh, I did forget the car chase sequence. <clears throat> okay, so uh, he he it is forgettable. I understand. It he is. does the car chase <clears throat> sequence. He starts a gang war by killing two guys who are messing with a girl in an alley, and they're on the police camera, <laughs> they're like, uh, "There's this uh, girl is being harassed in a poli- in an alley. Um, get a patrol car down there." And he shows up first. I'm like, <clears throat> how is this fucking police? She's omnipotent, basically. This this dispatcher throughout the whole film, she's omnipotent. It's just so stupid. Like a 15 year old wrote it. <laughs> they could have shown something like across the bo- bar. There's like somebody on the phone, like you know, to help this person. So he kills these two people, and and then in in what feels like an unrelated scene. <clears throat> <clears throat> the boss is doing drugs, and he's given two fingers, and he picks up the fingers, and he's like, <laughs> and it, it, no, it, Look, there's it, no impact. Now, if they would have shown previously that one of those guys is his son, his brother, his cousin, or something, then then I could buy it more that the gang war starts. But the very next scene, it's just a random gang war on the the fucking omnipotent dispatcher is like a gang war has initiated and and you just hear because he had the tattoo he's like once you're in your family so that's all that matters and and then there's this like concrete building where an entire wall has been taken out on one side so you can see into it like it's a dollhouse and then you have one mexican uh, with a gun and then in the second room you got another Mexican with a gun and then in the third room you got a Mexican with a gun and then in the fourth room you got a Mexican with a gun and, and they're shooting in and this who? direction. <laughs> it was like pantomime. I, I was like, what is happening? It was 
so stupid. <laughs> and I was excited because Judge Dread Gang Wars. I'm like, Block Wars, let's fucking go. But this was embarrassing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. It was definitely. And then that's why I already explained it in the review. There's one cop lady. Then he does donuts around the cop lady to, to help her out. She tries to get in the car. She gets shot. And then he's like, Oh, and then she falls out. And then. I thought and then she that's when had the like a bulletproof vest or something. She so, got shot in the back. Yeah. So that gang war is going on. And during this. <clears throat> The boss is getting updates because somebody is live streaming the, this car in the middle of the gang war and sends it to the boss, you know, and and the boss is like, what the fuck? And then so he calls Ruiz. He texts Ruiz and he says, kill this guy. And it's so, a great picture, too, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how he got that picture. Got, got the picture. Got that. So Pose apparently Ru <laughs> and, and so the camera is it, so weird. This gang war is so limited to just this one little area. And then the camera goes like this. And there's Ruiz. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Ruiz was there the whole time. And you know he's a bad guy. Randomly stabbing a guy in an alley. With a machete. It seems completely unrelated, but whatever. But it's like, oh, man, Ruiz is very... Ruiz is like a bad guy. He has he's sharpened awesome. teeth. He's definitely really bad. And, and then just Joel just shows up in the same spot where just, everybody's just teleporting around. Well, the, the the main bad guy who had just done three lines of cocaine off the table instantly recognizes Joel Kinnaman as oh, the dude you. from eight fucking months ago. And it is done so poor. And it's terrible. Again, John Woo needs to stop fucking directing. So, stop. So they intercut it with the gang war in the background, and then the entire screen flashes white, and for like three frames, it's him shooting the guy, and then it disappears. But there's no face shot reaction of the the boss realizing it's Joel. So it's like he did it in editing, and it didn't work, and it didn't make sense, and there's no way he would have known that it was that guy. See, this is a movie that I know they wanted to do no dialogue, but would have benefited immensely from, from just dialogue. small bits of dialogue. Yes. And you, you have to have a lot of skill to pull off a film without dialogue. Yeah, yeah. and you know, it totally makes sense if you want to have the main character unable to speak, and you want to have maybe another couple characters where like the movie for the most part is silent, but it was a massive disservice, and they tried to narrate this thing by having things on the radio, right? <laughs> yeah. They open it, they let, let you know what That's month why it the is. Radio feels omnipotent. Yeah, so the radio is like, hey, this is specifically January 24th uh, 4th on this day, and then there's another scene to let you know how time has passed, and she goes, it's April 4th. Did you get that, you fucking idiot? It's yeah. April 4th. <laughs> time has passed. And it's like, yes, and lady. The calendar I, shoved I, in I, our face. Yeah, I get this it. This is how close the calendar and is. And then there working. actually is nonstop scenes during his 40 minutes of sad montage of him changing the calendar so you get the time has passed. And it's just, they're doing the narration there, so it's not like there is no dialogue in the movie. You could have had a lot of the B-level bad guys given context. Yeah. Hey, boss, you just took out your brother. Your brother hasn't checked in, the accountant. And then he gets fingers in the mail. And you're like, holy shit, that's his fucking bro. Then you, it adds yeah, weight to all of these. Of they do none of that stuff. It's like, hey, boss. That, and that's why it's so that, stupid. You know, that's the guy. You know, I recognize him. Like, so Luis has a chase with him. Uh, he just slowly looks. Uh, Joel's character slowly looks at Ruiz and just drives off in the wrong direction, in, in a different direction. He knows that this is a fucking gang guy. He's probably gonna come after him, but he's just driving him down. And just so we can have yet another fucking scene with the. He stops in the middle of the, the highway. Fucking, the fucking music <laughs> box is so annoying and it's so stupid. It's like he wants to be Sergio and he can't be this, you know, spaghetti western Italian thing, but he, it's so stupid. And, and then, so then he continues and then we get the chase sequence, okay? And it's just not even it worth mentioning. Stupid. Joe even forgot about it. It was, it was like, stupid he scene. learned how to drive a car and he's not even good at driving a car. Well, they're he just is going, here. Oh, he going side to... by side. That's it. That's, that's, so, so that's oh, it. yeah, okay. So then they're having this gun battle and there's the <laughs> stupid gun battles where a guy will come out and two, you know, three inches from his head and shoot and nothing happens. And, and then they're like crashing into each other. And then out of nowhere... There's just a motorcycle driving in, on a sidewalk, and you're like, okay, I guess the, this smart citizen got you know to, to the side as he sees but this gun wait battle. All of but a wait a minute! <laughs> Take the gun out and you start shooting too. Yep. <laughs> And then he crashes into a completely unrelated drug deal where they're moving multiple, like, giant bags of coke in the street. Like, what the fuck world is this? Yeah. It's like this. 
this is it's like it's There's beyond no GTA. police in this world. Yeah, it yeah, is. It's so it's far that's beyond what GTA said, times five. That's what they said. We the ma- it's making this thing sound way better than it really is when I'm describing oh, it like no. this. So then, it's... then he, he kills all three of the guys with the pistol, slams into their car, moves that car, and that's where we get the scene of his car should be exploded by now. Well, his car skip has skip all this bullshit. His car has brakes strong enough to stop the car behind him, and it's mm. also powerful. And these are big trucks and SUVs, yep. and it's like, look, I think the five liter Mustang's got some power. But I think no. it would have outran the Escalade, but apparently not. No. No. Yeah, he would have he would have got away, but he's so stupid. Okay, so <laughs> fuck all that. Essentially, Joel, uh, let's speed this up. He goes to the fucking final boss area, S and L Auto Parts or whatever. It's this big building oh, oh, that O'Reilly's? that is just nonstop <laughs> graffiti everywhere. It's like, how do you get any work done in here? This doesn't make any sense. But it's basically it turns into mini Judge Dredd uh, with Mama at the top floor. I just rewatched that. That movie's great. Can we talk yeah. about that movie instead? No, like, I really want another Carl shitty, Urban movie because, like, that movie thing. is like legit very good. I mean, there's some cheesy <laughs> dumb shit, but I like that movie. <clears throat> Not this. I one. don't like it as as much as a Judge Dredd. I, I want to see a sequel, but I think yeah. that they need to lean more into the Judge Dredd element. It's, all right. Anyways, so he goes in there, and again, it's it's dumbest. I like how he goes in there initially. Mm-hmm. You know, he, the guy's like, "Everybody back home!" And if you're in the middle of a gang war and you're issuing he orders, it. that's stupid. He didn't as say fuck. it though. He's just mad texting. He's mad mm. texting, right? <laughs> Because he can't talk. He can't, can't talk, talk in the film that'll violate the, the marketing. All caps. It was in all caps. It was in all caps. Everybody Everybody back now. here now. <laughs> oh That's what he said. All and caps. Then, <laughs> and then in different and then different color texts pop up as a green one, an orange one, oh, and a we oh, <laughs> five minutes. And so they all go and God. There's a sequence where there's a fuck. Why? Why does the garage need to slam down at a, at an interval? Or are they hiding from the rest of the gangs? No, it's just it's just so that he can get his motorcycle. His under cool there. scene. But he's got his jacket. Whips it around. I'm oh, like he's John. Got a it's the jacket like, from Grandma's I'm like boy. John though. Woo, you <laughs> motherfucker! You couldn't help yourself with the fucking doves in the. There's no doves, but this fucking jacket. The I'm leather like, duster is terrible. Yes. I'm like, man, that's. <laughs> what, you know that? I, how do you describe that embarrassing moment when somebody parodies them, does something they think is really cool from their past, and it just doesn't it's work cringe. anymore? It's cringe, it's I cringe. guess. It's cringe. <laughs> we should know cringe. We're very cringe. Yes. We, we do cringe all day long. <laughs> that shit was cringe. Takes one to know one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so then he drives with the motorcycle. But I will admit, the motorcycle scene is kind of cool. He f- slides the motorcycle yeah. under there. Jen just gets a pop, 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 and then fire. So there are small bursts of good gun battles. And there should be. It's John fucking Woo. But it's like all the connective tissue in between. All of the, 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 the rest that of the does stuff doesn't work. work. I don't know what half of these credits. Uh, so on Rotten Tomatoes right now, it's 63%. I, I, That's I, what I was I, saying. I, I was like, how? Oh, I don't fuck? get it. Um, but uh, then he fires at a gas tank or whatever, blows up the car. I did like this. I saw that in the trailer. Like it consumes these guys. I'm like, that's not how it works. The best but parts are the trailer. That's it. it. Looks awesome. That's it. Yeah, it looked awesome. I liked it. <coughs> and then so so that was cool. And I'm like, all right, finally we're here. We're gonna get some John Woo. We're gonna go Max Payne shit. We're we're just gonna. This is it. This is it. But then immediately when he goes up the stairs, we're like. Oh, 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 jo- Joe, did you? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? It's, that's exactly how it happens. Yeah, you ever, have you ever, like, not been home in a long time, and then you see someone in your family, and they look much older, and, like, if you, that, that, it hits you? That's what this movie Damn. is. And it's just like, oh, my God, this is. Yeah, he gets up there, finally gets up there, and goes through all the thing. And then the sub boss that remember he fought the sub boss, the Razor Ruiz team. guy. Yeah. For no apparent reason, Ruiz was hiding in the fucking top. Like all of his minions go down, and he never goes down with them. I guess he's just hiding so that he can pop up. He had to sharpen his teeth <laughs> for this fucking boss battle. Mm-hmm. They fight over a pool table. It's dumb as fuck, and I hate it. Kid Cudi yeah. shows up to help him, shoots the guy. Uh, no, he, not he, yet, not yet. No. Uh, then mm-hmm. go ahead, Joe. So Kid Cudi comes up. He's going super slow. There's like fire, like like you're firing everywhere, but he's going super slow. I was yeah, like, what is he doing? Run with in your there! Purpose? What the fuck are you doing? What he's just going super doing? slow. 
Then he sees the people behind him. He gets a little stupid scene, kills them. It's a good thing he didn't show up 10 seconds sooner. He would have gotten blown up by the Claymore. Yes. (laughs) So at some point, when Joel gets to the top, he lays a wire down, and a group of guys comes up with uh, ARs, but luckily... It was conveniently and that blew saved up all him the too AR guys. during the fight because he was losing. He was big losing time. to Ruiz, yeah, and so yeah. he eventually w- best Ruiz. They fight into a room filled with guns, and then like it's supposed to be cool where they're fighting oh, over like God. they're fighting over like like it could be cool yes. where it's like he picks up a gun, it's not loaded, and they're looking for things. I imagine Jackie Chan, right? Yeah, yes. like, like total Jackie Chan moment where it's like there's a gun <laughs> and they're fighting over <laughs> like, like the rush um, and but, then putting in and then doing really yeah, cool no, things. No. I, that's in a Rush Hour movie. Yeah. I swear, I watched a lot. Of, awesome. It would have been totally cool. They did none of no. that. Instead, the way it's filmed is but it gets knocked over and then and it's super clumsy. And then it, it just, just stupid shit. Uh, I but fucking the, hated it. And the they never fire at each other. And finally, fire at each other, and it's dumb. Yeah, and then then we get to probably the most offensive thing, where uh, <laughs> the woman who is like, yes. I mean, she this, did a like, oh donkey God. dose. I mean, a fucking donkey dose of heroin. Like the syringe is full to the fucking top, and he's just. <laughs> and this giving... whole time, she's been dancing with her uh, the boss. Yeah, and, uh, as they're. As the entire place is falling apart, it's exploding. This it's very, me off it's as very well. John Woo. She picks up a vector. What is oh, she? Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we get there, the the he takes out Ruiz by shooting him in the head, which That's, I think that we was saw in the song. trailer. That yeah. was a good shot. Again, you can't show that in the trailer. It must have been in the Red Band trailer. Or Probably. Something. Yeah. So that was a good shot. And then the camera shows uh, this one little window that's all kind of boarded up. And then go ahead. And then she comes out, and she's got, you know. No, no, no. There's just random gunfire from this one window, and all of it is hyper accurate. Yeah, and it's crazy. They both get, like, hit, and she's she's actually pretty far away from them, and she's, like, these things are 300 bullets. In, she's in, got a, yeah, she's got this tiny vector, and she's going, yeah! And it's in slow-mo. There's no, no sound, so you don't get to hear that. She's just, ah, ha, 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 right? But her angle, there's no fucking way she can pillars. hit this. They're behind big pillars. They're behind big pillars. She's already had to reload she's, once. She's so she goes, and then she goes, and then goes, and then this is when Joel Kinnaman decides, and then when Joel Kinnaman <laughs> gets shot, Kid like, Cuddy sees him, doing? and he goes, and then he gets shot. I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate this. And then maybe seven bullets later, she click, 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 click. She runs out of bullets. These fucking morons. Now go. Now you shoot. But he, the thing that pissed so off, she reloads. Oh, no, it's not over. Though. This scene is not over it's yet. Not. Right. So they could have shot her while she's reloading. Now she's reloading. I'm like, get up and shoot her. They don't. Yeah, uh, and so Joel Kinnaman now has crawled on the floor because he's been shot so many times up to her, and he he pulls his gun on her because she's out of ammo, and he stops because she's a woman, and you can't shoot the women. He can't bring himself to kill a girl. Um, um, it's and not very forward him, of like, you, John. And then she shoots him another she, seven times. She pulls very slowly, pulls out a pistol. What the his, fuck his is pistol? Kid Cuddy doing? Oh, he's doing nothing. He got he's shot. Like, oh, she's got he got a shot gun. twice in the gut. He so got shot. Out. He got shot. And so she's pulling he's a gun out real slow. It. And he's just he's trained on her. Like, it's, it's ready to go. And then she shoots him a couple times, and he looks at her... And he's just like, how could you? I was trying to be nice. And then he's on drugs. And then he shoots her (laughs) and then she dies. And then I hate this movie. Who who shoots her in the head? It's uh, oh, no. Joel Joel eventually shoots her. Yeah. As and then Kid Cudi. He's just out. He's He's out. He's he's out. out. He's out of the scene. This man who and, and I get it, John, you're like, OK, so because my character dies, I don't have to care about how many times he takes bullets and all these things. No. It's fucking stupid. I'm not giving you that excuse. So this man has been shot 17 fucking times. And yet, Stabbed in the leg. <laughs> and, you know, he turns into John Wick again. It's fucking stupid. And then they fight in the main guy. Or he sees the main guy. And the main guy is just hanging out. in the Behind whole, the candles. There was no reason for him. Yeah, he's just walking the, behind the, the candles the with his muscles scene. out or something. What, are you, what is happening? He doesn't, Why did you let your girlfriend just shoot? The people randomly on her own without your help. You're just standing there, and then he tries to shoot him at that distance. So the the bad guy pulls out again. John has his gun. Or Joel has his gun out, and 
He's just kind of standing there, and then the bad guy pulls out two guns and then shoots Joel like and a goes, billion times. Boom, 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 boom. I'm counting them. Yeah. It's like 12 fucking shots. Yeah, these are big All 45s. of them connect. And these these are fucking, this is a 45 At or least. more. Brian's just like, uh, goes on his knees. He's he's about to be dead. And he didn't <laughs> even. About to be. He's already <laughs> he's taken seven yeah. Yeah. So he's like going up. He's like, I And you, you would think, oh my God, Joe, that sounds so amazing. These blood squibs. I, I, I could see it in, in fucking hard boiled. It's, that must look so cool. No. None of that. Mm-mm. He didn't bring the people from from Hong Kong or the blood blood squib people. That's they're not there. This is all CGI bullshit. Yeah, they're not. They're not good. CGI. All right. Anyway, so Brian's on his knees. He's about to die. He's like, "Oh, I got you. I'm but gonna." But he doesn't go say, "I got you." No, he, he can't. He can't talk. He, can't, he doesn't you can't say talk. <laughs> right. And, and twenty minutes. Shoot him. Twenty minutes later, no. <laughs> then Kid Cudi. Then Kid Cudi's like, "Oh shit, I'm in this movie." And then, Pow. Wow. But he doesn't kill him. He shoots him he where? He shoots in the him light? in the back or something? Yeah, somewhere non, you know, and then he kind of falls down, and then Joel gets the strength of a thousand men. And wait, that movie's been training for so for eight months. He's been training with, with one of the- stupid puppet. Yeah, there's a fireman <laughs> dummy type thing that he's been, like, wrestling on the ground. And so he, he grabs him and then, like, does this stupid Hong Kong spin flip thing. Yeah, and he's- don't call it Hong Kong. That's that's. A- insult to Hong Kong. It, it is. Like little, John Woo is like, an insult to well, Hong Kong like filmmaking as of today. Move. Swings him around, starts punching him and then, silently and then though. Choke, and then chokes him out. And then chokes now, him out. Now, I'm, I'm not fucking kidding here. We, we, we've got the boss in a chokehold. He's choking him out. And then the camera goes to a side view, and as he's choking out the boss, there is an ornament. What the fuck? It's balls. <laughs> a golden ball ornament. It's balls. Which then turns into the effect, you, you know, the effect in Thor Ragnarok or whatever, His where that son? floating yeah. head kid yeah. shows up. His son shows up as a floating head kid oh, in him. a fucking ornament. <laughs> You're doing it, Dad. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was going to, like, stop choking that him or something. That would have been funny, but that's not how it happens. It's just, like, stock footage of his son. And and I thought, oh, he's going to let go because he can't do it in front of his son or something. But no, it gives him the strength to continue to kill this guy. Even though this guy is not the one that shot your son no. this whole fucking time. <laughs> we, don't know, probably, we don't know who it shot. It was probably the guy in the orange dead. car that got shot. Someone, at, we don't know who. Yeah. Oh, it's so it's so bad. It, it's so embarrassing. That's why Joe, in the review, I was like... Maybe you might want to watch it for how stupid no, it is. No, no, no. It is a waste, <laughs> and then a he, waste of fucking time. And, and then he dies. He lies on his back getting ready to die, and he, all of the ornaments start showing the up. Visions. The visions of his son from oh start to finish. God. Except there's a weird scene in there that's his son graduating yes. high school. Oh, out of nowhere. So it's it's like his son, his son, like infant. And then he starts to walk, and then he's and like, then he's, okay, then he's like a it. toddler, and then he's like a really young kid. Then we get to seven year old. He died at seven, and then we get this weird flash forward to when yeah. the kid is graduating high school. Just, but like, then we go back to like six years old. <laughs> then we go back and to six. So it's confusing. And, it's poorly and, filmed. And then it keeps going back to like younger stuff. So it's not like what is happening. And it just kept going. And then Kid Cudi lies next to him, and then they die looking at this guy's golden balls. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bunch of golden balls. Stupid ass smile. And they die with golden balls. <laughs> 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 it was some nice Something's balls being projected under the walls. I, I don't know. It was embarrassing. It was and bad. then it smashes the black, and I'm like, "What?" I was like, "What the fuck was that?" And then the theater laughed because I, I was, I let. He audibly out. said, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah, and then people then laughed. The last scene, we get the note. Oh, with the, with the, the wife. Oh. And this is even more embarrassing, Joe. This I've never seen a adult director <laughs> who is a grown ass man <laughs> do this scene where uh, okay so that's where we see the uh, the the headstone and the train I'm like oh cool so he brought the mm-hmm. gift and he set up the train that's a cool visual but it's instantly ruined because as they zoom out then they put a Hallmark Channel fucking piece of paper 
but the edges are all glowing, and I'm like, this is embarrassing. It's from beyond the grave. And no, it's not from beyond. He's the He's dead. Grave. It's the letter he sent his wife, and it says, "I'm sorry, I love you." And I'm yeah, I'm sorry, I abandoned you, shit. and in, instead sorry of just losing a his son, I was never you the lost same both. when we lost Tyler. Yeah, not gotta do like, bro, this. You didn't even fucking talk to your wife. Not Y'all at didn't all. Even try it. You didn't even try. So I was like, fuck you, fuck your wife, <coughs> fuck, fuck this whole family. I just hate y'all. He's like, yeah, you piece of shit, care. man. I'm glad you did. Like, you ruined Kid Cudi's life. And now <laughs> your wife is double sad. She <laughs> lost a kid and a wife. And, 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 you stupid and her life And savings. I'm almost wondering. Yes. <laughs> because like, he, he, had a, <laughs> he bought a car cash. He, he bought guns him. cash. He didn't work for I'm, eight fucking months. And I'm she's out there working. I'm wondering if this is a movie about the this pointless savagery of violence. You know? And instead of I don't know what the fuck this was. Because I don't know. It's is. so confused. Message. All right, we actually had way more fun talking about it in the spoilers. Yes, than I thought this is now an hour long. Oh God, this movie does not deserve an hour long review. Holy shit! Your time. But I had fun talking about how it's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> don't watch it. Uh, don't watch how am I going to put this up as an hour long? Do I oh split God. it? You have no, to. I you can't do two videos know. for this movie. Oh no, God. I'm going to put it in the title. Side of the night. So stupid. Watch our summary of it. It's better than the movie. In there the you title. go. So we only have to go like watch. 20 more minutes before we're longer than the, <laughs> the film itself. We're, yeah. uh, obviously, right. we were more entertaining. Than yeah, but and, and, and a little less cringy. Only a little yes. less, but still less. <laughs> I, I'm sad and uh, because there are maybe two good uh, gun battle moments uh, or John Woosh moments, and those maybe two moments were uh, one fifty second of what you would get in hard boiled the killers mm-hmm. face off you know it's it's all there in more <laughs> pieces off. and better for you <laughs> <laughs> if i take my face off since you're with alex you guys wouldn't know the difference you wouldn't know the difference between the two of us yeah <laughs> see but that's the silliness we allow because yeah. it was a good film this was a bad film and this, we don't yes. allow because it's I the stupidness peach for alex. all right that's it Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, Silent Night was uh, fucking terrible, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys. guys.